So since 2K18 came out, the main thing that I've been worried about, and the main thing pretty much everyone's been worried about is the My Career Mode. It's a ton of fun. They now have the neighborhood. Everyone's talking about it. But there's something that's being overlooked. And that is the new My Gym. I don't know if you guys remember, but like maybe a month or so ago, they came out with the news that My GM would have like a player career kind of animations thing. But like, I literally think everyone just forgot about it. I really, so I want to start this series. I don't want this to die. So if you guys are like it at the end of the video, I'm not telling you to do that now. Drop a like, we get a thousand likes. I will continue to make this and make this a some type of series. We'll see. I have no idea what to expect. I'm literally just going to show you guys the screen now. I'm about to hit my GM. Start mode setup options. Okay. Quarter length, six minutes, six minutes. What I want though is I want it to be um, a really, really short season. I don't know if they're allowed to do that, but I would like um, for it to be a shorter season. Let's go six minutes. Actually, we'll go four minute quarter. I think that's a little bit too much. The simulated quarter length. We'll make it 12, play to the 7th fantasy draft. Um, use roster industries, injury, did I, what did I just say? Injury duration. Uh, gameplay difficulty, would, because I'm going to be playing, I want it to be on a Hall of Fame. That's the most accurate way. Draft class quality, all that stuff. Okay, this all looks good to me. Start mode. I have to choose an owner now. Okay, it, it, it's defaulting to the Raptors, but I don't want to do that. I really, really don't. I want to go with a team that I have chirped all the way through my career and I know my voice just cracked I don't even care I want to go with the Brooklyn Nets I've made fun of them forever and I want to take them to a championship team I feel like that would be actually entertaining I have some a few options of who I can be though I can be Trent O'Brien um, is that the guy that I'm automatically gonna I think I automatically go to the team owner unless they let me switch that I don't think I do um, importance of team image. Uh, he is part of negative. Okay, I, I'm gonna go with this. Yes, I do want to select the Brooklyn Nets. This is the new squad. I just took on the coaching job of the New York Nets. I imagine there's gonna be some animations. Okay, let's go. I need I can't bend it. Something is not right here. This is so cool. And I don't know, like, currently I don't hear them talking. But, like, I did not realize that I got a six-year injury and I'm going to become the GM. Oh, my gosh. I can see Kenny and Russell in the facility. Do you mind if I hear some real quick? Please call me Trent. And by all means, I'll see you in a few minutes. Kenny D'Angelo. This is lit, man! Oh my gosh! Thank you, D'Angelo, to be honest. I'm a big fan of yours as well. I'm looking forward. So, I'm now a coach. I was wondering, this is so lit. I know you guys are discussing that you get to know. Uh, coach is definitely a player to coach. You watch what I want to win here is what you can do. I'm looking forward to next year. I am as well. If you excuse me, I'm Mr. O'Brien. There'll be a lot to go. Apparently, this is my first day. I am pumped about this. Like, I didn't realize it'd be this cool. Trent, my apologies for being late. Is there no sound, though? That's the only thing I'm confused about is that there's no talking. But, like, it's quite alright, Brett. Have a seat. Hey, did VIP offer you a word of the famous chat? Lots of the way in there out of this world. I must have missed it. I imagine just because of the fact they have all this stuff on the screen that there is no. Uh, we're calling it Baker Buddy. All this stuff. I'm just laughing. So you saw Kenny and Russell on the way in. Yes, yes, good job. I had to introduce myself, but it take as long as I want to keep you waiting long. You have plenty of time to get to know the team. Brett, I would like to officially in person welcome you as the new general manager of the Nets. 
Well, I know you have a lot of experience in general manager. I've been watching you for a long time. First as a player, then as an assistant GM. I must say you are very impressive. Thank you, sir. I remember on May 27th, 2011, sad day that was, you're playing in Dallas, had 30-something points midway through the third quarter. 36, sir. Right, as I was saying, you were dominating on both ends of the court. You showed strength and courage and tenacity and grace that night. To later find out that it would be their last game on the court breaks, right? I know how hard players worked to not only make it to the NBA, but not... I hate that I have to read. I really, really don't love the fact that I have to read. Okay, wait, maybe one second. Maybe I do have sound. I don't know. I'm, I might be losing my man. Now, I do believe this for a second. What I do believe is the work ethic, the drive, and dedication that made you a player. You're the exact person who uh, You know I lose the fans as an athlete. Let's see. It's one point, Brandon. In about 20 minutes, you'll need to perform your first act of the GM, the internet press conference. I thrive in it, sir. This is sick, guys. I'm sorry, but, like, I'm more excited for this than everything. Like, this is actually incredible that they're doing this. I need to fix my face scan because I don't love it. But, like, I need you guys to like this video because... Why do I look like I just got joined the Mafia? Oh, there I go. There we are. My GM. The next chapter. That's such a good idea. That's literally such a good idea to make it the next chapter. Like, the next chapter of my career. Super, super smart, 2K. You guys are all geniuses. So I think for this series, there's not going to be talking so many that will have to just put instrumentals in the back. What are your goals? Um... Total rebuild. Strip down the roster pair. Yeah, I think with the Nets, it's going to be a total rebuild. That can be a hard thing to hear if you're a fan of player or anyone who cares about the well-being of a team, really. But I'm convinced it's the right move. And you know we're going to be going the right way. We have a specific plan for how we want to do it. Uh, first, we had a great job on the draft. You can swing and miss there if you're trying to build from the ground up. They're going to be smart and free. So I hope I get to the draft. I have a ton of confidence in Kenny. He's great with the players. He's great with the media. And he's one of the smartest basketball minds I've met. He's going to do a great job for us this year. Okay. It's lit. Let, let's just say it is lit. So I believe, like, I get to play the games, obviously. Like, I get to, but in the front office, let's just, like, because this video is just going to be the, the, obviously the next one might be my next game, etc. A lot of this is just going to be me trying to put together the team and win, though. I'm going to be warning you guys right now. So, scouting-wise, team intel, I can see all this stuff, analytics. Prospect scouting, mock drafts, um, Jackson Baldwin. These are for like the next year drafts, I imagine. Uh, so what we have in terms of a team right now, we have D'Angelo Russell, Jeremy Lin, Trevor Booker. We don't have a lot. D'Angelo Russell is probably our best asset that we have. Um, my GM, my GM upgrades. Um, I don't know what all this means. So I have my business. Oh, I earn badges. Oh my gosh. So as like, what is this next level? 57 VC, I can get to level two. Okay. I don't, I don't know, like, three I can get. Okay, I don't know what that's even doing. Um, social media, no more free paychecks. The NBA season kicks off. Just post our power rankings. My GM, front office. Okay, let's, let's just, I don't even know what to do right now, but I feel like I got to be proposing trades. Because that's my job as a guy. I got to propose trades. There's certain guys that I feel like D'Angelo Russell is awesome to have on the team. Um, he doesn't add, like, I'm going to look for young players. Like, Crab maybe could have a little bit. Of like trade bait, maybe we could get something for him. I like to get like a Kyle Korver and a J.R. Smith. Those are two guys who are a little bit older. I definitely we're not definitely not getting any younger with that. Uh, Damari Carroll, just because of the fact of everything that happened with like Toronto 21st second round pick, don't want that Parsons. That's not bad. I can get a 77 overall for him. Like these trades aren't gonna be amazing. I can also get Nick Stauskas. I can get Ian Mahini. He's 38 years old though. Definitely want young Solomon Hill. I could get him. Bismack. For Damari Carroll, I could get Biombo. Uh, none of these look that appetizing. Let's just... I don't even know what I'm doing. This, this first video is so messy. It's not even funny, but we're just going with it. And we're probably going to sim a few games because of the fact it's just the beginning of the season. I could get JJ Redick. Uh, and I'd have to give up a draft pick too. Like what's... We get Dwight Howard. Damari and a second round pick for Damari Carroll and Jeremy Lin. That is rebuilding. Like, to be honest, I know Dwight's, like, not getting any better anytime soon, but it is helping the team become more of an option in this in this next little bit. Like, they'd also be sending us a second-round pick, but I just don't know if I'm ready to get rid of Jeremy Lin. I do want to make one trade in this video. Um, let's look at just our top. What are people willing to give away for D'Angelo Russell? Well, yeah, Mike Conley, age 30, but that's a guy who's going to change the face of the franchise. I'm not sure. I'm going to ask you. This will be the question. In the comment section, because it's the first video, I don't want to make a big move yet. Who should I try and trade for? Should I do this trade? Should I do the Alan Crabb, D'Angelo Russell? Should I go get Mike Conley? 
I know he's older, but like I just don't know if that's a brilliant trade. Um, the only a guy like Tre Trevor Booker is older too, so I feel like he won't be amazing trade bait. But I would take. I'd be more like available to take a trade for him. Like look at this. That's not bad for a center who's not all that great. This is gonna be tough, you guys. I'm gonna struggle. Free agents. Oh, okay. Free agent signings. Can we do it? I low key want to sign Chris Bosch. I'd have to cut somebody, but Chris Bosch is worth, like, the Nets, it's so incredibly worth the risk to do something like this. Like, I have to, I'm gonna have to call into my office. Hi, Brett, we did just the roster of your latest move. Would you rather do it yourself or have the coach take care of it? Um, view menu. Uh, I, I want to view the menu. I, I want to be the one to take care of it. Actually, I've taken care of it. Thank you for the update. Thanks for reviewing and integrating new players. Okay, so they made the roster move, obviously. But I, did, I didn't make that for that. I want to sign Chris Bosch. I want to negotiate something with Chris Bosch. I'm going to invite him into my office. See, hi there, Chris. I'm glad you can make it. As you know, I'm interested in signing you to a contract. Glad to be here, Mr. Barrett. So is there anything you, you would like to know or should we get right into the terms of the contract? Ask opinion on the team. I would like to ask your opinion. There's work to do. I don't mind taking our time to pick ourselves up again, but there's definitely some work to do um, on potential role. What do, you, what do you see yourself doing? I think I could be the, I think the roster guy, you could use a guy like me. That's not a great, um, I'd like to talk to you. Let me, let's get the fun stuff and hopefully come to terms with an agreement that works out for both of us. My agent and I are looking for a one year, $14.63 million. Does that work for you? He wants 14.6. I'd want to bring him around for two years. 10.5. When we need cap space because of the fact of like the things that are going on. But I can give you 9.72, which is a great step that direction. Let's bump it up to two years. Does this work for you now? We're not there. Let me run through what I am thinking. There's got to be some movement in money. I'm set to something more around 13.85 million. I'm not interested in something long term. I want a one year deal rather than a two. If you can do that, then I think we have a deal. Give him a pitch. Persuasive pitch. I got it. I got to get this signing. I got to get this signing. I'm willing to drop some VC on it because I want I need I need Chris Bosch for you. You won't be able to find a better deal with any other team. You're 100 this is exactly the deal I'm looking for and I accept your contract offer. Boom, let's go. 85 overall, huge for morale. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, hi Brett, we should adjust the roster after your latest move. Would you like to do it to the coach? Um, I always like to, I'd like to have the coach handle it. Please ask the head coach to take care of the necessary changes now and look for it until I see otherwise. No problem, ask him to take care of any post-trade lineups. Perfect, that's awesome. That's a huge free agent signing for us because um, he's gonna start for us. That's a power forward and that opens up a spot to get rid of Trevor Booker and go get a center. So now that I've got rid of him, now that, I, now that Trevor Booker, even though I'd like to have him on the bench, he's not completely necessary, I can get rid of him and see what we can potentially get in a trade. Also, I'm gonna try and lump him with Damari Tr Carroll. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. Player the small forward and a power forward, Booker and Carroll. I wanna see if I can get two people who I want more out of it. Ryan Anderson's not bad. 78 overall, he's a power forward. He could take the place of Trevor Booker. He's a better overall, he's the same age, but he's a lot more expensive. This is the other thing, you gotta look at the prices of these guys. Who's too, like I could get Chandler Parsons, but I'd be really, really dumb to. Uh, the contract that I wanna get rid of though, is this crap, like salary, is he making 19.3 mil? Is that an actual, is he making 19.3 million? Like that's insane. I don't want J.R. Smith though, because I don't want those numbers. I this is not bad, the Carter one, because they're not too expensive. But so far I'm not seeing much. We might look one more thing kind of in just to kind of see what's up. I might look in free agency one more time to see if there's anybody else that I'd like to even get into talks with. Like if they're younger and they're willing to do some negotiation. I wouldn't mind like Jared Allen. He's a center. He's young, but like it does it his system match. Who matches well with the system? Let's see. Best system match is this Weber guy, this point guard, Brian Weber. Only wants two million. Could be a really good system. You guys, all this Festus Azili. Um, he only wants two million. He's a center, and he should be really good. So let's let's negotiate a quick contract. With him. Actually, no, we'll do that next video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to make sure to slap a like, hit subscribe. I want to keep doing this, and I will see you all next time.